probably seen a lot of Instagram models make money online, but you want to apply it to yourself. Today I'm going to reveal how you can use Instagram to make money as a broke ass teenager. What? Um, I hate to rush you, but yeah. Gojek is one minute away because we don't have enough time to go to the electronic store and dinner. Oh. So could we leave right now? <laughs> Welcome to my channel. We are currently headed to actually get some dinner. Uh, but today's video is interesting because as you guys can see, I travel. I had the opportunity to travel for my meetups and one of you guys actually asked a question of like how to make this like 20 bucks on the side because a lot of you guys don't need like a full-time job you just need a little side cash. all right guys so i'm in the car now starting with the first step we gotta know how much money you want to make okay at the bali meetup i just wanted to know for a student or someone who's just wanting to make some side cash what the standard amount would be since bali is a developing country and we all have different economies it was actually interesting to hear what money meant to people in bali doing a little bit of some research we found out the minimum wage per month is two hundred dollars two hundred dollars that's that's not a lot of money because in america two hundred dollars can only get you maybe by a week what was interesting to hear for me was just knowing that not everyone needs to make a million dollars tomorrow i think what i've just seen on youtube is everyone kind of proclaiming how they've turned their life around making like billions and i'm just like that's not necessary for everyone so this video is for you truly if you're a student or a person that just wants to make a little side cash so with that being mind let's just go off the topic of two hundred dollars a month so cool now that we know the goal is two hundred dollars a month this is how we're gonna do it if you're new to my channel there's actually quite a few ways i mentioned before of how you can monetize your brand through merch physical products one of the things i haven't mentioned is utilizing close friends so basically have you guys seen the new little feature where you can add your close best friends only to see a portion of your stories and i think that's dope but i didn't even know that you could make money from it imagine just like working in your bed and having a having the ability to go to the movies with your friends or you know eat the food you want i think that's just so nice to have so here is the method we're using so there's only one method you need for this entire video to utilize the close friends list and how you can make money from it i'll tell you guys i know it's a little confusing but just wait a little bit so i'm going to introduce to you guys the idea of the exclusive theory the idea of the exclusive theory is people buy things that are exclusive if you don't believe me take a look at a brand called Yeezy. I think they're a great example because they only release a certain amount of shoes for extreme amount of cost when it's just a sneaker. Actually, my friend has the Yeezys right now. Do you have Yeezys on? No. Oh, sh <laughs> They're just too exclusive. They're just so exclusive. You might be wondering, hey, Jade, how do I use the exclusive theory? Good question, Haley. You might not be Adidas, you might not be Kanye West, but you can still use the theory. I want to give you guys another example. Hey, Ryan, mm. remember when you released merch in rounds? Tell me about that. Oh, yeah. So basically, um, the whole model of my clothing line hydra is releasing each design in rounds in very limited quantities so with every single round it actually gained a lot of hype because they would sell out so quickly so like if a round sells out really quickly and one of the people wanted to buy it but they couldn't obviously they're going to be more excited and more on their toes when the next round drops so they can buy it as soon as possible because there is limitation kind of like kylie jenner's lip kits when they first came out oh okay what, what about that so I don't care about makeup, but everyone wanted these Kylie Jenner lip kits and they would go on sale mm. and then like in an hour they'd be gone. So it kind of became a challenge just to have one. Not even because I wanted it, but I just wanted one. It's like a game. Yeah. And now for people who want some, you know, context, how much is exclusive? Are you talking about 50 units, like 100? Like what's a good number for maybe someone to, you know, you would say? Yeah. So the cool thing with exclusivity is that you can kind of increase your quantities based on people's attention and hype so the first round was 120 units total and then i gradually increased to about 300 and we still sell out in the same amount of time Damn. but i think that's going to be my cap right now like 300 is something like off-white is 300 right in Damn. a lot of times so i mean i think it's a number that works really well so then you can just focus on quality all right continue Thanks, Ryan. I love the tip, by the way. So going back to the exclusive theory, now you might be wondering, but Jade, what do I sell? Good question, Haley. So there's only really two steps with exclusive theory. It's quite simple. Step one, create something that people want. Step two, 
only give it to a select amount of people. So the idea with selling something is you need to start with the idea of a good product. Now, I don't believe you have to go out there and start going to manufacturers and building a whole company because at the same time, I think all of us are lazy um, teenagers that just want to make some money. So not doing that route, I want to suggest another idea. I'm going to credit a subscriber from the meetup that actually gave this idea. This is not mine, but I had to share it because it's genius. The idea is you create something that people want, for example, a tutorial of how you use your presets, a tutorial of how you edit your photos. Maybe people want to know how you dress so well. If you're the cool kid in school, how do you get good grades? You get the idea. You create something that people want. I would say if you don't know what people want from you, kind of think about one thing, which is what do my friends ask me for help for? Kind of see if maybe people ask you for certain advice, relationships, friendships, or even just something in school. I think it's just super easy to start with that. Just ask the people around you, hey, what do you need help with? Now, the key with the exclusive theory is try to, you know, get five or 10 of them to say yes and kind of limit everyone else who wanted it so you can keep people to kind of re-engage. So putting everything together, this is what happens when you put the exclusive theory combined with the close friends list. Okay, so here's the story. When I was in high school, which was only a few years ago, which is crazy to think, uh, I remember I dropped out of high school because I was pretty good at finding my value at a young age. For example, I used to be that kid in high school where I would have the theme. I was like that Instagram bitch that would always be on her phone, but everyone in school kind of knew me as like the Instagram girl, and they would be like, how did you edit your photos? How do you take photos? So anyways, I decided to maybe make this into a service. I offered, especially my senior friends, to take their photos for $100 per session. As you can see, we got some lovely photos, and they would always tell me, hey Jade, this is amazing. Thanks so much for making me feel confident. And I knew then and there, I was going to limit only two spots a month for senior portraits. And what happened was people were running to the gate to get their reserved spot. I remember like in the summer, I would have to reject a lot of people. Um, essentially, I had too many clients to handle. In mind, I was like 14, 15 at this age. Anyone can do this. It's super simple. First of all, step one, find a good product. I know that's super basic, but be really, really good at something. If you don't know what that is, keep working harder. It took me a long time to figure out my skill in photography was meaningful. Step two, ask the people around you, hey, is this product valuable to you? What's the value of it? If you ask any of the seniors, they would always say, I just wanna feel confident on the yearbook. I wanna have something that I'm proud of. And those two emotions are priceless. And that's where you can charge hundreds of dollars for photography. So really keep in mind, ask your consumer, what's the value of my product? Because a lot of you guys are having bullshit products with mediocre pricing. You really need to understand the value of your service or product. We're gonna hop right into back into the video, but I hope this was helpful and I'm not being too basic. Just because I know some of you are curious and you want to actually implement this, I have a few suggestions on softwares that can take money from you every month. So basically, if you want to have a subscription model of a product, I used to do this actually with my other product when I used to sell like mentorship per month. Um, and I used to thing called Gumroad is, is a website that takes money from a credit card monthly. So it's great for subscription models if you're trying to monetize, you know, $5 a month for a close friendless story where I give you value. I think that's super cool because it doesn't cost you anything and if you need help with payment set up I recommend it I'm not sponsored I just actually used it back in the day so those are all the tools you need to start making $200 to a thousand dollars a month but depending on what you need let me know actually go comment below currently how much money would make you actually is that a weird question I'm actually just curious like if you're someone who's younger I know my audience is a little bit more diverse this is actually the first time I went to a meetup that wasn't an audience of people that were older than me I know the Dharma Nation's you know growing but sometimes I forget that some of us are young and we're not gonna always build huge companies. I made today's video just to kind of open your eyes and show you guys how you can make some small side cash and actually in the next video I'm gonna show you guys how you can spend that money and how I afford to travel. Break down how, how much it costs to live in Bali for around $20 a day and I hope you guys are excited as I am because I've never done like a travel video. This is not my niche but I do want to expand to show you guys what could be possible. If you guys need anything else go comment a question I'll reply to it and also check out the links in the description to follow my Instagram my podcast. Subscribe like this video favorite share share on myspace and shout out to comment winner shout out to the comment winner comment on this post to be featured in the next episode hold up
Okay guys, so I was looking at this video and I realized how vague I was being and you're maybe rolling your eyes at home thinking, Jade, I already know how to do this shit, what? So here's the honest truth that nobody wants to tell you and I've been actually keeping this back from you guys for a long time. Currently we have 160,000 subscribers on this channel, which by the way, thank you so much, you guys are amazing. And make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. But going back to my idea, okay? If there's 160,000 of you guys watching my videos occasionally, have you ever asked yourself how many people actually succeed? I was doing some research and I want you guys to take a guess. How many small businesses survive in their first year of business? Okay, bitch, it's only 95%. So that means if we do some math, 160,000 subscribers times 95%, that means 152,000 of you guys are going to fail. And no matter how much value I give, no matter all the things you Google online, a lot of us aren't gonna succeed. That's just the truth. I am so sorry to break it to you because I feel really weird saying that because I just believe luck is a huge part of business, but there are ways to increase your chances. And I'm gonna give you guys two examples. The first one is working hard and the second is having a good network. And that's where I got to where I am today, truly. Like it is hard work, it is, you know, the network, but a lot of it is just luck. So keep that in mind when you're following any tips online. I'm about to talk more about how to use the close stories features, um, but just keep that in mind and be more compassionate. So if you don't really win or make so much money the first month, be patient because if it was easy, then everyone would do it. Haley, I'll miss you. I hope your flight is all well. Girl. See you in Italy. See you in, oh, oh.